Here we have a 2018 Volkswagen Golf R TSI DSG. Now with this vehicle you do get four 19 inch Pretoria alloy wheels, all in excellent condition. The vehicle itself is finished in a Indium grey metallic exterior paintwork, which really does look fantastic. Really stuffed out this with the grey and the black accents. Got a gloss black wing mirrors, Golf R badging, colour coded door handles, privacy glass for the rear passengers with black trim around the windows. Here's a quick look at that interior whilst we're working our way around. Black roof rails on top, black shark fin antenna just behind. As we make our way to the rear, you'll notice we've got the quad exhaust tips which look and sound fantastic. Let's have a look in this boot as well. Got a great amount of space in here, as you would expect with it being the estate variant. We've got the hooks on either side for hanging, shopping, etc. Levers just here for lowering the back seats should you wish to have additional storage space. Close that up. We've also got front and rear parking sensors with visual display inside. And as you can see, the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now let's go have a look at that interior. Starting at the back, we've got the three seats in the rear, incredibly comfortable seats. We've got ISO fixed points within them. We've then got our fold down armrest in the center there. On the door, we've got this lovely black patterned trim, brushed metal handle, integrated speakers, electric window controls, and additional storage. If we go into the front here, I'll just turn the ignition off, stop that beeping. There we go, and there we go. Now we've got the Golf Art badging on either side for each front passenger. We've then got our electric power folding heated wing mirrors with lock and unlock button, brush metal handle, more of that trim. We've then got our electric window controls and child lock for the rear with the integrated speakers just below. Stepping inside, as you can see, we have covered just over 46,400 miles. And I'll start the vehicle up and you'll see we are free from any warning lights on the dashboard. Just okay. As you can see, we have got the digital display in here. We can actually flick between plenty of different views. You can change all of those to which ones you view. We've got our navigation just there, great feature. Flicking across assist systems, driving data, we've got lap timer, then got vehicle status, telephone, as well as audio. Back to views and navigation. Just above, we have got our Dyn audio sound system, as you can see just there, that is an optional extra in this. That's the premium operated sound system. It sounds superb. Taking a step back, we've got our multifunctional steering wheel with different controls for whilst we're on the go. On here, you'll find things like adaptive cruise control, speed limiter, your volume controls, foam controls, etc. There's a quick look at those features just there for you as well. Now coming into the middle, we've got our infotainment screen. So on here, you'll find things like navigation. We've then got our DAB radio. We've also got FM and AM. Different forms of media connectivity, as you can see just there, like Bluetooth, USB, etc. We've then got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Mirrorlink. Great features to have in a vehicle. Bluetooth connection just there. We can connect our phones via Bluetooth to make calls or listen to music. Got different bits of driving data if we press car as well, things like the performance monitor. You go into the menu, you've got things like traffic alerts just there as well. Now, if we head back, we've then got our different driving modes like eco, normal, race, and individual. So you can suit which one of those modes best suits your driving style at the time. Put the vehicle into reverse, you'll see we've got a visual display of both front and rear parking sensors. Moving on. Going down, we've got our dual zone climate controls, so we can control each side of the vehicle's temperature independently. Heated seats for both front passengers just there. We've got convenient shortcuts as well, like Max AC. Very handy. Four motion badging just below. Underneath here, we've got two, uh, we've got the good storage space just there. We've got our USB as well. Close that up. We've then got our different driving modes, start-stop technology, traction control, we've got our engine start-stop button just there, parking sensor button just there for turning off the beeping. We've then got our electronic handbrake with auto hold. 
got two good sized cup holders below here, 12 volt connectivity. Before we move on, if you're not familiar with these gear sticks, we've got park, reverse, neutral and drive. And then we can actually pull that back to put it into sport mode. And as you can see there, that will change for us like so. Now we've also got manual mode with the gear stick. So if we pull it across to the left, we can then change gears manually by going up or down a gear like so. So if you do want to take manual control, of the gears you've got a choice of using a gear stick or the paddle shifters whichever you prefer now we've then got our soft touch leather armrest which does also double up as storage the vehicle is ready to drive away today with free next day nationwide contactless delivery competitive low finance a fresh service a fresh mot and it's also hpi clear that's all from me on today's video thank you for watching Video test drive of this Volkswagen Golf R TSI DSG. Now the purpose of this video today is to show you that the car drives exactly how you would expect it to. For example, now I'm not having to wrestle with the steering wheel to keep the vehicle in a straight line. I'll also go through some of the vehicle's features and demonstrate that they work exactly how they should. Starting off, we do have both speed limiter and adaptive cruise control. Both can be found on the steering wheel here by pressing mode. To activate the cruise control, I'll make sure I'm in the right mode. I'll press set and then we're now cruising at our current speed. And with it being adaptive cruise control, the vehicle will maintain a safe distance between ourselves and the vehicle in front. You can then change that distance with the button just here. And you can also change your speed with the plus and minus like so as well. To deactivate this, I can simply press mode again and it will take us back into manual control. I can also press the brakes should we wish. We've then got our gear changes, so I'm currently in sixth gear. Down to fifth, down to fourth, down to third, back to fourth, fifth, and sixth. And as you can tell, through those gear changes, completely seamless transitions, no jerky motions at all. Now it's definitely worth mentioning the performance. There you go, of this vehicle. Incredibly capable vehicle. 0 to 60 in around 4.8 seconds with 306 horsepower thereabouts. So incredibly capable car. You certainly won't struggle overtaking other vehicles when driving this about. But it's also a great all-rounder. I mean, you've got a great amount of space with it being the estate variant. The boot is huge. Incredibly comfortable in here. We've got some great optional extras like the Dyn Audio sound system. The infotainment systems in these cars are incredible as well. The Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth connectivity, DAB radio, satellite navigation, the list goes on. Great all-rounder this car. Great for if you want to drive fast, great for if you want to ferry the kids about for the food shopping, whatever you want, this will do most of it. Now, here at Irish Car Sales, we have been doing deliveries for the last three to four years, as well as three next day nationwide deliveries for the last year and a half as well. So, although the COVID-19 situation has had a huge impact on many businesses and still is doing to this day, we feel like we're quite well prepared and we have adjusted our deliveries ever so slightly to make them contactless and what this means is we'll sanitise our hands, we'll sanitise the keys and we'll just do an extra thorough clean of the vehicle before delivering it to yourself. Now we are a 5 star dealership as well, if you look online we've got over 300 5 star reviews so if you go online check out those reviews and you'll see that our customers really do rate us as a great dealership to buy from. We really do want you to have such a good buying experience, buying experience from ourselves that you would come back to us and buy again in the future or recommend us to your friends or family. Now I'm about to take a right turn into the industrial park while performing an emergency brake in three, two, one. There we go, very sharp on the brakes just there. Straight into reverse, no problems at all. You heard the beep, which means the sensors have engaged. We've got the front and rear visual display as well. Now, just over a speed bump there, and as you can tell, no knocks or bangs of any kind. So this is usually where you'd be extremely happy with the vehicle. You'd want to come inside, see what kind of deal you could work out. Obviously, you're not here at the moment, so do feel free to but do feel free to get in touch. Appointments are welcome if you'd wish to come and view the vehicle in person. Part exchanges are also welcome. Just let us know the make, model and condition of the vehicle you're wishing to part exchange. And if there is anything we have missed in our online photos, a video walk around or this video test drive, 
again feel free to get in touch and one of the team would be more than happy to help you out that's all from me on this video i hope you found it useful and we'll hopefully hear from you soon cheers